Hello, family. This is Apostle Patrick T. Right now, coming to you live from Praise Christian Center World Outreach with another uh, broadcast, another podcast of I Care. I want you to know that God is faithful in all that is promised. God will do what he said he would do. The word of God declares as we acknowledge him in all our ways that he will direct our path. I encourage you every morning, begin your morning acknowledging the living God. Let him know, hallelujah, that you are in tune with him and call on him to lead and guide you throughout your day. I want to continue sharing with you, though, this day on the, on the fact that God is forgiven and the love of God is what brings about the forgiveness that he has given each and every one of us. So I talked to you a little bit about that on yesterday, but I want to continue in that vein, as I said. Listen to this. My dear children, this is 1 John chapter 2 and verse 1, and this is again from uh, the century version. My dear children, I write this letter to you so you will not sin. I think I'll read that again. He says, my dear children, I write this letter to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone sins, huh, we have a helper in the presence of the Father, Jesus Christ, the one who does what is right. See, that's the thing we have to recognize. Sometimes we do mess up, and it's called sin. Hallelujah. And the good news is, is that we still have a helper. Hallelujah. And the helper really is the Holy Ghost. He helps us and the Father forgives us because of what Jesus Christ himself has done for each and every one of us. He is faithful to his promises. He said, if you confess your sin, he is faithful. He is just to forgive you your sin. And not only that, again, I love this part more than in that whole statement. I love this more than any part of it. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And I question you like this. This is my question always following that is, hallelujah. How much sin is in your life if it's been cleansed? Zero. Hallelujah. Therefore, you can come before God, hallelujah, with a clean mind and a clean heart. That's what God wants from you so that you can be able to talk to him, hallelujah, without guilt, shame, or inferiority. God loves you that much. He's made that kind of a provision for you. Because again, in 1 John, this is one of my favorite scriptures, again, like I said. But if, if we this is, listen to it in the century. But if we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins because we can trust God to do what is right. He will cleanse us from all the wrongs we have done. Have you ever done anything wrong? Repent. Agree with God that you were wrong and watch what happens in your life. Hallelujah to his name. Now listen what he says in, in Isaiah 43 and 25. He says, I, I am the one who forgives all your sins. For my sake, I will not remember your sins. Listen to that. God says he forgives your sins. Watch this. For his sake. Oh God. Oh Lord Jesus, have mercy. So listen to this. With God is all about his love for you. With God is all about, watch this, his care for you. He cares about you and he wants you to be able to live a life free from any guilt or shame that the enemy will try to bring upon you. And as I said, I want to reemphasize again because it's very important that we get a hold of this, that we don't just sin because we have forgiveness. Hallelujah, because then you're tempting God, you're playing with God, and that is not a good thing to do. In the Hebrews, the eighth chapter in verse 12, it says, I will forgive them for the wicked things they have they did, and I will not remember their sins anymore. Hallelujah, my God. <clears throat> what more can we ask? What more can we declare? Hallelujah. The living God loves us so much that he continually forgives us for the things that we come up short in. Matter of fact, I'm just going to say it outright, for the sin that we do. Hallelujah. Now, I will say it like this to you. Now, all of us sin. Some of us sinned this morning, some are sinning right now. Hallelujah. There's various ways, things sometimes that you don't even realize you're doing that's really missing the mark because you've been trained wrong or taught wrong in some areas. But bottom line is, confess your shortness, forget, confess your sin to the living God, and he is the one that forgives you all, not some, all of your sin, which you bless his name this morning. I care.